Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the AirPlay feature on a Samsung television. Now you have to have a compatible model, so usually you can tell by the box or the menu. So the AirPlay feature is gonna allow you to take your screen from your Apple device and actually display it on the television, or if you have a computer, you can make a second monitor. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. To get started, go to your settings and under general, click on AirPlay settings. Now when it comes to your Apple device, you can have it set up multiple ways. One way to do it is you can require code only for the first time, so if you connect your computer or your iPhone to it, it'll remember in the memory. The second option is every time you try to connect a device, it's going to ask for a pin code that you need to put in your phone coming from the TV set. The third way to connect is using a password instead. It comes with a predetermined password so you can give this to people anytime they want to connect to your TV set to share their screen. And if you don't like the one they provide, you can modify it if you like with the on-screen keyboard. For the demo I'm going to show you guys, it's going to ask for the passcode every time. This way it doesn't store it in any kind of memory. It's easy to set up from any iPhone. Just drag your screen down, click on screen mirroring. Once you find the Samsung, press on it, and then enter the number on the screen. And as you can see, it's showing everything on my screen. Now let's say you want to watch a video. You can just pull it up and it'll start playing. And at this point, you can share anything on your screen. And if you turn your phone sideways, you can see it turns on the TV set as well. Another thing you can do if you have an Apple computer, normally up here, there's a screen mirroring button. If you press on that, You'll see the Samsung on the list, and then you can just press on it. Enter the code again. And there you have it, it's on the bigger screen. I will tell you that it does have a little bit of lag to it, but another thing you can do is that you can take your Samsung TV set and make it a second monitor for your computer. If you go to the Apple logo in the corner, then go down to System Preferences. Then go over to Displays. You can see the Samsung set up as an air display. But if you go over here to Arrangements, and then uncheck Mirror Displays, now you have two separate monitors. The last thing you want to do is you want to make arrangements. So if you press on it, you can see there's a red bar that pops around. So I can say my laptop's right here at the bottom, let go. Then once I close this out, I have a screen here, and then I have a screen there. Hope you guys see the mouse right there. And if you want to customize the background, you can take it a step further. Go back under System Preferences, press on Desktop and Screen Saver. And then here you can give it a background on this monitor. And then you go over here and give the laptop a different background. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out if you was wondering how the AirPlay feature works on the Samsung television. Now I made a series of Samsung videos so you can check it out in this box beside me. But I want you guys to stay safe out there and I'll still put out some videos probably in a few days. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.